overturning Roe v. Wade in decades. The justices must decide whether to uphold Mississippi's ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy. Jan Crawford has more from outside the Supreme Court. Well, there already are protesters here on both sides. Thousands more are expected before the Supreme Court wraps up hearing arguments in this case that really could determine the future of abortion rights in America. It is a case that started in the Deep South at a clinic known as the Pink House in Jackson, Mississippi. Shannon Brewer has spent most of her working life on the front lines in the fight over abortion. This is the one that I can honestly say worries me more than any of them. In 20 years at Jackson Women's Health Organization, she's come to expect protesters and has long had escorts to help the patients inside. We're out here trying to guide them all through it. For years, the doctors here at Mississippi's only abortion clinic have flown in from out of state and tried to stay anonymous. There's only a few of us that are available to come to the state. So if I stop doing it and one or two others stop doing it, then the state's in a very precarious uh, position. But Brewer says the biggest threat now is from the courts. They're allowing things to get through that weren't getting through before. That's, it right That's what abortion rights opponents like Debbie Goodman, whose protest wasn't with a bullhorn but a quiet prayer, have long hoped for. I believe in the power of prayer, and I did get a little emotional when I'm doing it again. I just feel like prayer works. And, you know, if I think about what's happening possibly there right now, it just breaks my heart. Jackson Women's Health sees 70 to 80 patients a week, including some women who travel hundreds of miles from Texas. In September, that state banned almost all abortions after about six weeks. The Supreme Court is considering a challenge to the Texas law, but it's today's Mississippi case that could overturn Roe versus Wade, the almost 50-year precedent that prohibits states from banning abortions before a fetus can survive outside the womb at about 24 weeks. With three new conservative justices, all appointed by former President Trump, who supported overturning Roe, some see this case as their best chance. I do hope that they outlaw Roe v. Wade. And conservative-leaning states are ready. 21 states already passed laws to ban all or almost all abortions if Roe is overturned, while more liberal states are taking steps to protect access to abortion. Back in Jackson, Brewer says she knows what would happen. They would definitely ban abortion in Mississippi immediately. Yes, and several other states, too. Now, the court of public opinion is also weighing in. A CBS News poll found a two-to-one majority supports uh, keeping Roe versus Wade in place, uh, with Americans saying uh, that it would be a step backwards for women. But if Roe is overturned, most Americans say there still should be some restrictions on abortion. Anne-Marie? Jan, thank you. Well, Barbados has officially ditched Britain to become its own republic. Prince Charles was there to witness the historic ceremony. We'll take a closer look at that story in our Royals report that is straight ahead. And later on Red Blue, Repu